hello everyone how are you all take care of yourself and your family as well so friends today we are going to see a concept of pdca cycle uh, that is what plan do check act cycle uh, this is an iterative design and management method uh, which is generally used in a business for the control and uh, you can say continuous improvement of processes okay as well as for the product also now let us see in details what is that the uh, meaning of each of the uh, each of each word you can say of that pdca cycle or you can say each letter of that P pdca cycle and uh, why we need to use it at any problem solving or you can say uh, in a problem solving as a problem solving technique or in a process control so before that friends let me introduce myself I am Atul Kumbar and you are on my channel AB Kumbar. I request all you to please like this video, share it to your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. Also please supporting me, keep supporting me, your support is so valuable for me. So friends, let's start. Now let's see what is that PDCA means or what is the main function of PDCA, okay. So uh friends actually uh, generally that uh, pdca means plan do check act cycle so that is a four step model for carrying out changes it is a circle which has no ends and this pdca cycle should be repeated again and again for a continuous improvement actually this PDCA cycle is known as the, the Deming also. It is also no, uh, known as the Deming cycle or Deming circle or the, you can say also the, the Shevard cycle or the control cycle or the plan, do, study, act cycle. Okay, so uh, instead of plan, do, check, act, it is also known as the plan, do, study, act cycle, plan, do, study, act cycle. So it was made popular uh, by the... Uh, you can say the W. Edwards Deming, uh, who is considered by many to be the father of modern uh, modern quality control. However, he always uh, referred to it that uh, PDCA cycle as the the Shevard cycle. Later in uh, Deming's career, he modified PDCA cycle to plan, do, study, act cycle. So that is what the PDSA because he felt that. The check means the inspection over analysis. Okay, so he has changed that check act uh, into the study. Okay, but in general, we are referring that uh, cycle as a PDCA cycle. Okay, so here you have some uh, you can say some important points. Okay, you can uh, read it from this slide. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, you can say what is the exact procedure for the plan to check act or you can say what is the exact meaning of that pdca or plan to check act so see first in plan in which uh, here in plan okay uh, in which we need to recognize an opportunity or you can say we need to identify a problem and make a plan for a change or you can say plan for a improvement or to uh, you can say to solve that problem that is what included in a plan now next see uh, the do that do is what the test the change whatever the you have planned that you need to test properly so that we plan and whatever the we plan okay also we have to carry out a small scale study over that plan or you can uh, say that do the uh, actions whatever you planned for okay now third is what check third is what here check second is do third is check so that means the review uh, whatever the test you find out uh, whatever the test you have carried out on your plan then find out the whatever the results uh, or you can say uh, notings readings analyze those results and identify what is wrong in a plan or you can say what we have learned okay after applying a some test or uh, sorry after applying a you can say plan in a do act or in a you can say uh, where you are carrying out some test over that plan so in third check you have to review whatever the readings you have taken you have to review uh, review uh, whatever the you can say uh, records you have 
taken or main, uh, maintained okay or uh, whatever the results we have find out there so yeah that you need to analyze properly okay that is what they you can say check now in the last act that is what the uh, you can say in it we need to take actions based on the what we learn in the study step or you can say in a, a check step okay now and if the change did not work or whatever the plan uh, you have you can say uh, you have planned something for the uh, uh, that production line or that for product okay that did not work or it did not go through the uh, your you can say according to our expectations or your plan so we need to go through that cycle again with a different plan again so and if we are successful in the process then that our results are correct then we need to incorporate that uh, we have learned from the the test or you can say uh, for the wider changes okay you, you have to look upon the wider changes you have to look more improvement in that also okay got it also we need to use this to uh, you can say for the procedures which we learn to plan for new assignments new improvements new methods okay which begins the cycle again got it if you have some we have we have implemented whatever the plan successfully then also we need to think for the improvement and for that purpose you need to make a pdca cycle again got it so that is what the pdca cycle here pdca cycle got it now next see when to use that pdca cycle for what purpose we need to use it okay and for what time at what situation you need to use it now let us see now okay the first when we are uh, starting a new improvement project okay or just say a new you can say uh, project you are starting some new project or you can say a new improvement project also you need to implement a pdca cycle you need to uh, you can say plan for that okay you need to use that technique now next see while developing a uh, new or improved design here okay or design of process we may say or you may say that design for the product or service also now third we need to define here we need to define uh, iterations or you can say the repetitive work in progress if you have any uh, repetitive work in progress then you need to apply this pdca cycle next when we are planning for the uh, same that uh, you can say some data collection and analysis like if any criminal investigation is there or something that in order to verify or prioritize you can say problems or uh, you can say root causes okay so uh, in that situation we need to um, just say implement our pdca cycle next when we are implementing any change in the process like suppose implementing a new work technique for operator uh, for the betterment of his work motion okay so that time you need to use the pdci pdca cycle okay and lastly see from this uh, slide say uh, when we are working together to have a continuous improvement okay all the employees in the all the you can say staffs in the uh, your organization or in company they are all working together for what for a continuous improvement or for personal growth company's growth or you can say a nation's growth okay so that time also you can use this technique for your personal growth also you can use this pdca technique or cycle now let us see any example of it okay here you have one example so we can use that PDK, pdca cycle in uh, many different ways many different situation let's say we are planning to change your supplier of product or service or you can say that when a design team is planning for a new product development okay so now that gets uh, just uh, take an example of that uh, when you can say when uh, our design team is planning for a new development in the product so what we need to do in first step of plan we have to plan for the new development of product like which design parameter is necessary or which is not okay suppose in your product we have some one uh, you can say uh, part is there some pin is there okay now due to uh, the some mold pattern or mold design uh, that pin will be uh, you can say uh, in that part 
So, and after the the completion of all processes, you need to cut that pin from your product. Then you have to think over uh, whether that pin is really required uh, required for that product or not. So then you have to change the design for the mold to get a change in the product. Likewise, okay. So likewise, you the plan you need to make. Likewise, you can say the thinking you need to generate while doing while planning or while you can say uh, doing this activity. Okay, plan. Next, uh, that is the do. So you have to create a prototype or uh, what, whatever you have changed there. Okay, so you have to create create a one prototype there. Then you have to test it on different parameters and collect data from the uh, any testing machines, any customer also. Okay, you can collect data from customers also. Now after collecting the all the test results uh, about the product prototype. You have to analyze this data and also need to measure it, uh, whatever its fits, uh, fitment as per the customer requirement, okay, and its satisfaction also. You have to consider how uh, that your product design or product specification can satisfy the customer's needs, okay. So that is you need to check in a check step, and last last step is that the act. Now in which we have to implement this new design on the collected feedback. And if you have to got, if you have got any, you can say uh, wrong suggestions or any negative feedback problems in it, then again we have to rethink over that, uh, whatever we have designed and try to change according to the requirements. Okay, so uh, we, uh, we can get some lit, uh, some uh, feedback, some ideas about it. Okay, so we can able to change uh, whatever our design as per the requirements of customer. So that is what the PDCA cycle. Okay, hope you understand that PDCA cycle. Okay. Uh, so friends, I hope you like this video. Please share it maximum and please do subscribe my channel. I need your support, friends. Okay, please do supporting me. Okay, friends. So thank you all for watching my video. Thank you, friends.